mis compañeros cazadores de sueños y fanáticos de Disney en todo el mundo. Or to translate into English, hello my fellow dream chasers and Disney fans across the world. Welcome to Kingdom of Isolation, where in times of trouble, why not isolate yourself with the magic of Disney? Now, this is going to be the start of a very interesting period in uh, Disney's history because it's the World War II package films. And uh, I've got my mumsy on board with uh, with this run of uh, reviews. Hi everyone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's she's actually been helping. She's actually been helping me with uh, increasing the uh, the view time on on my um, on my videos, so that way, so that way, I can so that way I can actually start making money from these videos. And uh, and yes, don't be too surprised if you see cats in the background. I'm looking after two cats while she, while we're trying to get a, get a new place for her because current circumstances not exactly uh, able to move anywhere at the moment mm -hmm. but anyway on t but anyway on to the um and on to our first world on to our first world war ii package film of this run it is episode six i'm doing snow white pinocchio fantasia dumbo baby yep episode six my lucky number and it is saludos amigos uh, that's why i spoke spanish at the start folks uh, at least in 1940 Two, I believe it was. I'm pretty sure it was forty-two. Uh, I might, mm -hmm. I might be wrong on that one. Yeah, but anyway, um, but yeah, I, I just want to say a big thanks to uh, Michael McGorry from uh, Movies in Milk uh, for uh, creating the thumbnails for uh, this series. It, he's he's done a fantastic job. He managed to get the logo that I made for. He, he managed to get he managed to get the logo for the. I think it's, I mean, you, you know that Disney Blue Castle intro. Yeah. Thing? Yeah. Basically that, but instead of Walt Disney Pictures, Kingdom of Isolation by Kenzie Redshaw. So he managed to get the Kingdom of Isolation logo, and it's um. It's the same typeface. Yes, yeah. basically, <laughs> and he managed to get um uh, PNG files of the uh, uh, Disney characters that are in the film that I'm talking about, and uh, in, in this case, Saludos Amigos today. But this isn't the only. Ep uh, but this isn't the only episode we're recording today because we've got the three Caballeros coming up so uh, afterwards as well, but. This isn't going to be how I usually do these um, reviews in this series. Instead, we're actually going to be watching the film as it happens. And yes, we have we have we have watched the films beforehand, so that we're sort of familiar with um, what happens uh, in the films. Uh, but of course, we can't actually show we can't actually show the footage because you know Disney very protective with their copyright stuff uh, so yeah good luck with that mm -hmm. uh, but I have but um, I have worked out how I'm going to be able to um, sort of have the audio of the film in the background um, as well um, but making sure I have um, copyright free music uh, over the top so that so that way I don't get hit by copyright claims like I did with uh, The Apprentice on a couple of occasions. Um, but anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. And uh, yeah, we've, um, we've, we're have sorted on the beverages front because it is really, really warm here, especially because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, um, yeah, because we're in, we're in the 20s right now as far as the temperature is concerned. So yeah, that's definitely going to be... Uh, Interesting to see how we cope in this heat. <laughs> yeah, very uncharacteristic Scottish weather. <laughs> yes, we have had, we, but on a plus note, we've had, it has been a lot of great weather we've had mm -hmm. in, in the lockdown. We're currently in phase one of the lockdown. Hopefully in the next three to six weeks, we end up hitting phase two so that Kath, so that Catherine can finally get me over to her place because uh, the youngsters are missing me. Nah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um... Anyway, uh, yes, I f and yes, I finally managed to get a pair of sunglasses uh, last week as well. But anyway, let's get started. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to go to the 
expedition. Artists, musicians, and writers setting out for a trip to Latin America. Find new personalities, music, and dances for them have been filled. Adios, and saludos, amigos. Well, credits. <laughs> <laughs> those that watch Cinema know that it's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fun, funny game. But even I've been to the album. Two days later, they landed in the Rio de We've been watching too much aircraft investigation, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome 
followed by palpitation of the heart. The ears have a tendency to... Sign language being used by our tourists here is quickly interpreted by this wide awake young sign language. Yeah. 
Yes, folks, I am aware I'm going to to nitpicky everything on the jelly nose. And it does the exact opposite of what the narrator just said. Uh, but, I mean, of course, I'm pretty sure Donald Duck would have been introduced in cartoon shorts before this. and the stories told of the pioneer mail planes that first flew this route started everyone thinking. First, the little plane began to take shape. You know, we get a different story about a plane. With a personality, all it... ...his own. All agreed that he had... ...good screen possibilities. And before the plane set down... A Santiago, his life story had begun. Once upon a time in a little airport near Santiago, Chile, not really an animated there lived three airplanes. A papa plane, a mama plane, it's a hybrid, and it? the baby plane. Mm. Combining live action with the papa plane with a big powerful nail really. plane. And, and this was just a couple of the cool songs. Which was a middle-sized female plane. A, it's not on the bus, and B, and the baby plane was a little boy plane named Pedro. Uh, yes, cool. yes, she's got, she's got the, uh, the VHS on. Maybe so it's because it's actually the most to be a big plane on like VHS in the 90s. Yeah. 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 That one alone. Like all wrestling, Pedro went to fly with Mermaid BC before. He also studied history. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
Stuff, but you actually saw it in the film. You actually saw how these drones came to life on while, while the animators were on the beach. Yeah. So this was the big bully they warned him about. But he didn't feel big, though. No, sorry. Yeah. As if, as if the uh, angry face wasn't on well, the enough.
they've sort of, looking back on them, they've sort of become in shape. Again, Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry levels of unrealistic sound design. Have, have these guys actually watched Tom and Jerry to get the sound design yeah. tips from the thing? I never know. Yeah, because screeching brakes, that's a car, not a plane. Landing, you crash land upside down. Yeah, from the rent she did. 
Rancho, Texas. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was a great, that was a great day. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean me, me up there, me up there lying down to drink in the evening as well, drinking sangria. Didn't even know it was an alcoholic drink at the time. Yes. A <laughs> very weak one. Very, very, I mean, granted, I was like, uh, it was 2005 when we first went there. This garment's called a shiri pa. 13 at the time. Mm -hmm. and, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was, um, yeah, so that, 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 all I can say was a great night. Here the were treated to an ensemble. Choice. Cuts of meat. Mate, the Argentine tea. <laughs> Does not look very good. Yeah. And wine from their own vineyards. True Argentine hospitality. A group of skilled dancers entertained the guests. Not the, the modern tango of Buenos Aires, but the country dances of the Argentine. The same tunes. Which their grandparents had danced. You know, just. There we go.
to the Helen Gate or the Spurs of the and is ready for the sale. That's one of the more, that's definitely one of the more bizarre the 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 In saddling the horse, or people, the goat will simply lay the foundation of the arrows and those are arrows, adding the people. Of the horse, he's in big, in dry, no dip, and finally, the goat. Yeah. <laughs> 
close to the Black Lagoon in Macarena, Florida, but I'm from the Harvard News Sports. from the Pampas to Brazil and Rio de Janeiro, a city of amazing beauty in a perfect setting. One of the best views of the city is from the top of Sugarloaf, overlooking Copacabana Beach, the playground of Rio. From Portovado, the statue of the Savior looks out upon these scenes of active city life. This is the kind of atmosphere the artists were after. The outdoor cafes. The mosaic sidewalks that are found all over Rio. These designs are a tribute to patience and artistry, preserving a Brazilian tradition. Here are some of the first impressions. This is what can happen to a big city when a crowd of cartoonists returns loose. Among the sketches was a promising actor, O Papagaio, the parrot featured in most of Brazil's funny stories. The wardrobe department, he becomes Joe Carriola. The music of Brazil. A samba. Rhythm instruments like the Reiko Reiko and the Kabasa. All help to beat out that intricate samba rhythm. A lively two step with a bounce. It's the same rhythm that captivates the whole city when carnival time comes around.
Não, senhor. José Carioca, Rio de Janeiro, Brasil. Tem um dos seus? Tem um dos seus? Muito obrigado. Donald Duck? Um pato Donald? Um pato Donald? <risos> Ora, venha de lá um abraço, o mesmo daquele, um quebra costela, um bem carioca, bem amigo, seja bem-vindo, meu caro, o um fato todo, seja a você. Vamos sair por aí, vai conhecer o rio, vamos a todos os lugares, com desculpa, copa cabana, com fogão, salgueiro, laranjeiras, copa fogo, andar aí, meias, jardim botânico, quinta, campo de santana, cinelândia, praça um.
Thank you.